Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel here, Deliciously. I hope all of you guys are doing great. So I am very excited to report that there is a new hair growth cosmetic that is going to be available as early as the end of this year or later in the beginning of fiscal year 2019. This new hair growth cosmetic is a stem cell derived topical called CM3. And apparently it works a lot better than minoxidil with a lot less of the side effects that some people see from using minoxidil or Rogaine. And before I get started, please note that this medication is not going to be a cure or treatment for uh, hair loss. It's more of a maintenance like minoxidil or finasteride. So this topical is from a company called Metapost, which is based out in South Korea. And they are a biotechnology company that focuses on developing cord blood derived stem cell therapeutics. They are actually one of the largest private cord banks in South Korea with more than 200,000 cord blood units under their stores. So they do have a lot and they seem to be doing a lot of good work. Uh, there's several different types of treatments in the pipelines right now. One of them is trying to treat Alzheimer's and they're also trying to uh, treat some type of osteoarthritis and some type of infant pulmonary uh, disease or something like that. Now, if you guys recall a few months back, there was a huge, huge hype on another topical for treating hair loss called Kilopecia. Um, I think it was also called uh, Reboost. Yes, I did buy a, uh, I think like three months supply of Reboost because they claimed that the product actually used stem cells derived from foreskin. And it turned out to be a total disaster. It was a scam. And after three months of usage, I saw no results. And none of the actual ingredients in Rebus contain stem cells. So the other thing that you guys should be aware of is CM3 from Medipost actually does not contain stem cells. But like any other stem cell media products, it actually contains growth factors and proteins that are actually secreted from stem cells. And in this case, Metapost actually created an environment which mimics the biology of hair loss uh, for the stem cells to sit in. And then this is going to cause the stem cells to react and attempt to correct the hair loss by secreting different types of growth factors and proteins which support hair growth and anti-inflammation. The other thing that I kind of wanted to talk about was mesenchymal cells, also known as MSC, which belongs to adult stem cells. And it's often found in the umbilical cord uh, bone marrow and other parts in the human body. Now, MSC is actually a very popular modality in the development of stem cell research and therapeutics at the current moment. And the six stem cells that are actually approved in the world are actually based on MSC. So there is actually a great potential when it comes to using mesenchymal cells to actually treat hair loss. So let's dive right into the clinical studies. Now there's 30 people who are actually diagnosed with androgenic alopecia. Uh, also known as male pattern baldness, and they were tested in a double-blind placebo-controlled study. And the cosmetic hair sense formulation containing CM3 at concentration of 5% or without CM3 respectively was applied to subjects in each group for a total of 16 weeks, once daily by topical administration. The subjects were asked to visit the sites for assessment in terms of hair density, hair diameter, hair growth rate at each uh, 4, 8, and 16 weeks by phototrichogram. The superiority of, in all assessments was proved in each assessment in treat group compared with placebo control group with statistical significance. So minoxidil 2% was used for a total of 48 weeks versus CM3, which is used for a total of 16 weeks. So in three times less of the amount that it took minoxidil results, in 16 weeks, CM3 turned out to be a lot more superior than minoxidil, also with more hair growth, hair density. Now, it is believed that the upregulation of angiogenesis may be involved in the mechanisms of action, and also CM3 increases expression of some genes involved in hair stem cell proliferation. Now, once the product is actually out in the market sometime end of this year or next year, I will actually try to get my hands on it and try it out for myself. Give it to a few of my friends who are actually balding and see if it actually helps out for them. Um, until then, stay tuned. I will give you guys updates once the uh, product is actually released. 
And if I hear more information, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys have any questions about this product and what you guys think, let me know by leaving me some comments. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for next videos. I will talk to you guys next time and thanks for watching. Take care.